Hi everybody, um, I've been looking at different collections that you can play with in the house and do different activities with and this is mainly for under fives but also for children that are developing their language and developing their skills. So today I thought we'd look at what you can do with socks. Everybody has lots of socks in their house so gather them all together, put them in a big pile or in a basket, put them on the floor and let children just play with them and explore them and see what they do. Sometimes they come up with lots of good ideas that you hadn't thought about. So socks are really good because they come in lots of different colours and lots of different sizes, lots of different patterns and shapes are on them and so the children can just sort them. You can sort them by colour, the children can find all the purple socks, these are purple, these are purple, put them in a pile and all the red socks, you can find all the short socks, you can find all the stripy socks, so they're really good for sorting which is a good skill to do. Um, the other thing you can do is look at all the, the shapes and the patterns on them, so these have got hearts on them, these have got spots on them, these have got stripes on them, can you find all the stripy socks, can you find all the spotty socks and sort them like that. But Socks are brilliant for matching because obviously they come in pairs and so it's a really good opportunity to explore the same and not the same or the same and different. So you can get your children to find all the pairs of socks. You can say, oh no, they've all got muddled up and we need to put them in pairs so we can have a pair of socks to wear. So get the children to say, fine, can you find the sock the same as this one? Oh no, that's not the same. When they're little, you can say same, not the same, and then introduce other words like different and pair, um, so you're not confusing the language too early on. You can say, oh look, that's not the same, so that's not a pair. But these two are the same, that's a pair of socks. They're friends, they belong together, that's a pair of socks. Can you find a sock that's got spots on it? Oh, there you go, there's another pair. And you can find pairs of socks by size. Oh, this is a short sock. Can you find a sock like this one? Oh, they're not the same. This is a long sock. This is a short sock. They're not the same. These are the same. That's a pair of socks. These are both short, but they're not the same colour. So they're not a pair. These are a pair. They're the same colour and they're short. Short blue socks. So they're a pair of socks. So you can pair all the socks up. The other thing you can do is look at size and think, who does this sock belong to? Does this sock belong to me? Is it my sock? Hang on a minute, let's see. Oh, oh no, that's not my sock, it's too small. My feet are too big, that's not my sock. Perhaps this belongs to the baby. Oh, I think this is my sock, this sock fits me. So you can talk about who the socks belong to, big sister, big brother, um, mummy, daddy, grandma, and you can sort them by whose sock they belong to. The good thing about socks as well is lots of socks come with different shapes on, so you can talk about shape and you can talk about pattern. So often they have repeating patterns on. You say, oh look, this is a stripy sock, and it goes pink, white, pink, white, pink, white, pink, white. And here's its friend, so they're a pair of stripy socks. Can you say that pattern with me? Pink, white, pink, white, pink, white. What's the next colour? Pink. So they're really good to explore repeating patterns as well. Or you could copy the pattern on a piece of paper if you wanted to, or make up your own. And all of these activities you could do on a washing line. So you could hang up a piece of string outside if it's nice and on the washing line or inside with a piece of string or ribbon and get some pegs and then the children can peg the socks up. Now if they're little, just pegging them up is really good. Um, it's really good for five minutes manipulative skills and developing your fingers and you just peg them up. And you can just count. Lots of opportunities for counting. One sock, two socks, three socks, four socks and so on. Now you can pair them up or you can just count them in one. So you can just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or if you want to, you can count how many pairs. One pair of socks, two pairs of socks, three pairs of socks, 
and you can sort them and hang them so you can hang up all the stripy socks, hang up all the spotty socks, which have you got more of. So there's lots of activities to do. And another thing you can do with socks, if they're all rolled up, is make them into little balls. And you can throw and you can catch. You can put the box out and you can say, how many socks can you get in the box? Ready, steady, go. One, two, three, and throw them in the box. You can throw them further away, throw them to each other, throw them high up, and they're not going to hurt anybody because they're just rolled up socks. And another really good thing you can do with socks, of course, if they've got a big hole in eh, eh, like mine, is to make it into, yes, you guessed it, a sock puppet. Hello. This is one I made earlier. <laughs> so you can cut out some eyes of paper. You don't even have to do that. You can just open and shut it and make it into a puppet. If you want to, you can decorate it. Okay. Children love socks. Hello, sock puppets. You can do funny voices. You can talk to each other. Hello, and how are you today? Well, I'm very well, thank you. I've been very busy. I can see. Have you been with your sock friends? Yes, I have. Lots of sock friends. Children love it if you have wiggly fingers. Uh, sock, you like to eat wiggly fingers, don't you? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Children love that. So have lots of 